Mm -hmm. I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. I'm here with Jeannie Arhus, President of Arhus Associates, a CAD consulting company. Jeannie, uh, do you work with different types of units in, in your business, imperial metric units? Yes, a lot of times we do have to work with, in the architectural and the civil environment, we do have to work with both imperial and metric. And a lot of times you'll have drawings that are in metric and you're back to working in imperial and we have to share that information back and forth. So being able to understand how to work with those units is really important. Now, one of the things that AutoCAD has done recently is kind of automated that process. In the past, I used to have to think about how, how many millimeters in this and how many centimeters in that or how many meters to inches or meters to feet, you know, and I'd have to kind of have a little cheat sheet on my cubicle wall that would tell me how to do this. Well, now, as long as our files are actually defined in the correct units, when you take that file and you insert it into AutoCAD now, it automatically looks at those unit settings and makes the adjustment as necessary. So it's really nice that I kind of can throw away my cheat sheet and I don't have to think about those differences in units any longer because with our, you know, it's never a one to one, it's always a one to, you know, some odd yeah. number. So. Can you point our viewers to some of the um, dialog boxes or the commands that you look at in order to make sure you've got the right units or that, you're, that it's adjusting the units appropriately? Yeah, the first thing you need to check is make sure that your templates that you're using have the units defined correctly. So have a, you type in the units command and in that dialog box make sure you're set to either inches or millimeters or meters or feet or whatever your primary unit is. And then when you use that file, whether you're inserting something into it or inserting it into another file, the conversion, the automatic conversion process can happen automatically. Now there is a problem if you don't do that. If your units are set to unitless, then obviously when you insert that drawing, it's not going to know how to make the conversion because it has no idea what that unit value is. So, but there is another option that Autodesk thought of. If you go into your options and you look under your user preferences, there's a section in there for insert. And if you look at your insertion settings for your personal preferences, you can define what you want to happen if the file happens to be unitless. So you can say, well, typically when I'm working with a unitless file, it is the source is metric or the, the target is imperial, and you can make those adjustments. And then when you do insert a unitless drawing, it automatically changes it as well. Perfect. That's a great tip. Yeah, so because a, a lot of ways. older drawings, people are working with unitless. Yes, most of the old drawings that people have will be set to unitless. Great. Well, so, thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Good.